And here's my piglet. I'm about to cube them into the pen because I need to spray them for flies. I'm sure you can see the flies all over her back. But yeah, so they heard the cues or the cubes. So that's the dinner bell. All right, ladies, come on. Y'all gotta let me through here. I'm about to get run over. <laughs> All right, guys, so what I just did is I just put cubes uh, in my working pen because the cows are covered in flies, um, and I've been working a lot of hours, so I finally have had time to get this done. But uh, So I put the cubes in there. They're kind of like treats for cows, and uh, I need to uh, treat them, spray them for flies. So I've almost got them in the pen, but they're not all in there. But, uh, yeah, they... They're pretty skittish going in there because they know what's going on. I'm going to see if I can get them all in there and then we're going to get them sprayed. The cows in here in the pens. Uh, but anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray them. They really hate this, uh, but it's going to knock all the flies down. Uh, so what I use is this pump spray bottle here. And I just spray them with the sprayer. And so I'll see if y'all can kind of see this. I know y'all hate this, sorry babies. You'll thank me later, I promise. But so, yeah, yeah, like I said, they hate this. But let me get this done. Uh, this last week, I've just been slammed uh, at work. Uh, I've been, we're doing some training up there. So, uh, anyways, I was working like 16, 17 hour days. So I hadn't checked the chicken coop. So I came in here and yeah, the, the ladies are hard at work. There's some eggs down there. and. These ladies are sitting on, I don't know, probably a dozen or two eggs. But uh, definitely chickens look into. They're actually really easy to raise. Um, there's not much to them. Uh, that's what I started with. And that's, you know, if you want to start getting a hobby farm or, you know, actually go out and, you know, start this life. Uh, that's what a lot of people start with are chickens because they're pretty s simple. They're uh, not a lot of maintenance. You don't have to do much with them. They pretty much kind of take care of themselves. They just really need a place at night to go up to where they can be protected by uh, predators. I went and got all the eggs from underneath them. I haven't checked this for, it literally has probably been a week. Uh, and I don't know if y'all can see that, uh, but I don't know. That's probably two and a half dozen eggs there. Um, generally, as long as they're in a cool spot, they're okay. Um, but you do probably need to get them picked up pretty quick. Um, that way they don't start to spoil, but they actually last pretty, pretty long. I just came in with all the eggs and I have almost a whole bucket full. Um, so I guess I can talk about uh, egg production and, and all that. So um, I know I mentioned earlier that you do not need a rooster to have uh, your hens lay eggs. Uh, it normally takes about six months uh, for a uh, chicken to start laying eggs generally. And what I'm doing right now is I'm at the sink uh, and I'm going to rinse these eggs. Some people just put them in there straight, uh, but I try and get the uh, chicken feathers and stuff off of them because sometimes you'll have that and, you know, maybe dirt stuck on them. So I normally rinse them off and then uh, put them into the, uh, the cartons or whatever. Um, but yeah, it takes about six months if you buy chicks for them to start laying eggs. And they're going to lay probably one to two eggs a day uh, when they're really ramping up their production. There are times that the uh, weather affects them. If it gets uh, really hot or really cold, sometimes they'll stop production uh, completely. Uh, or it'll, it'll be somewhat reduced. Uh, so there's that. But... Yeah, you'd be surprised how many they can they can lay. So if you have six chickens, you know you could be getting you know two dozen eggs a week. So they're they're actually pretty. Uh, you know you don't have to have a bunch of them to get good egg production. Uh, but I guess I can talk a little bit more about you know raising them. Uh, I don't think I've really ever had any health issues with with any of mine. Uh, I think sometimes they may get mites or something. And uh, you might have to put some sort of powder on them, but I don't think mine have ever had anything that I had to deal with. But uh, literally, you just let them out in the morning. They walk around, scratch around uh, in the leaves and stuff, and they look for bugs and they eat grasshoppers, scorpions, 
there's some bugs they I've tried to feed them before they don't like beetles and stuff they love uh, June bugs uh, they love those uh, that's like candy for them uh, but yeah chickens are you know where a lot of people end up starting when they get a farm because they're really easy to raise they pretty much are self-sufficient they just need a place to go up at night um, you know that way they have somewhere to roost and then you need to set up uh, boxes for them to lay their eggs uh, sometimes they will start laying them in random spots so you'll be in your garage or you know if you have a barn or something that's open and uh, all of a sudden you know you're say you have a bucket out there or something all of a sudden you're gonna see like a dozen eggs and you know that's happened to me before because I was like man why is my egg production down so I started walking around the place and it's kind of an Easter egg hunt uh, you know to find these eggs but all of a sudden you'll find them and it's like oh that's where all the eggs are at all right ladies but once you pick them all up they normally quit laying there and then they'll go back to their boxes if they really are being bad about it uh not laying in their boxes what i'll do is i'll coop them up for a day or so and get them used to um you know laying in their boxes again so uh the reason why i don't want a rooster is i'm not really wanting to raise chicks right now uh normally i just go buy them from the store uh, and raise them the uh the the issue with those eggs is every egg is going to be fertilized and so if you don't pick them up right away and get them in the fridge a lot of times they'll get a little blood spot in them and people are weird about it i don't care i just eat it it's whatever um so there's you know there's there's that so you may or may not want a rooster and you only need one because trust me he's gonna do uh he's gonna do enough work he's gonna keep all the ladies serviced uh and then a lot of times if you have multiple roosters they'll fight so i recommend just having one rooster it's kind of like just having one bull but yeah i've almost washed all these eggs almost done i need to count them but i have quite a few oh <sighs> And then I, a lot of times I just sell them to my buddies at work because I can't eat all these, you know, eat all these eggs. But let's see. That's what we've got. All right, so I ended up having about two and a half dozen eggs. Uh, so that's pretty crazy in a week. Cause I think I only have like seven chickens now. I had quite a few, but you got to close them up at night or you'll have predators get in there. Uh, I don't like to use chicken wire. I like to use um, chain link fence because uh, some animals can get through your uh, chicken wire. So I use chain link fence. Nothing's getting through chain link fence. Uh, and then some animals will dig underneath your coop. So when you build your coop, if you do, you need to put some sort of wire down uh, underneath uh, around the edges because, you know, coyotes and stuff will, will dig up underneath there. And once their nails uh, hit that wire, from what I've been told, it stops and they won't they won't dig anymore. Um, so if you do have a rooster and you're doing egg, uh, you're trying to raise chicks, uh, you can get an incubator. Uh, I think I've done it once. I had a friend that had an incubator and, you know, ra we raised a bunch. Uh, but then you get a lot of, um, uh, you're going to get a lot of roosters uh, and also hens, obviously, with that. But you'll end up with, say, you incubate 30 eggs, 25 or so are actually going to make it. And then you're going to end up with, you know, 10, 15 roosters. So that's why I like to buy them. I buy them from the store and they've already, uh, you know, sexed you know, the chicken. So I know I'm getting all females every once in a while you'll get a male, but it, it rarely happens. Uh, so when I go, I just buy females cause I want the egg production. Uh, a lot of people don't realize, but there's actually meat chickens and there are, uh, laying chickens, minor laying chickens, my chickens. I mean, obviously you can butcher them out, but that's not really what they're meant for. Um, but obviously in a pinch, you know, I've heard of people that you know, we'll, we'll cook the roosters. I'm not messing with that. Uh, I guess I probably need to learn that eventually. Um, but yeah, if, if the crap were to hit the fan, obviously I would, uh, probably start raising them that way. I'd have, uh, chickens that I can butcher as well. So when your chickens are laying, um, you know, a lot of times they don't sit on the eggs. They just lay the egg and you know, wherever their nest is, and then they walk off, but you'll have a hen that decides to sit. And it's 30 days uh, from when the egg is hatched 
or uh, sorry, comes out of the mom 30 days until it hatches. Uh, so she has to sit on those eggs for 30 days. So one of the problems that I've run into uh, when I did have a rooster and I did have a mom that decided to sit is what the hens like to do is they all like to lay in the same spot. If you find out that you have a mom that's sitting on eggs, uh, you have to keep the other ones away from her because they'll just keep laying eggs on top of her. And before you know it, she'll have 50 eggs underneath her and obviously she can't sit on that many. Uh, so once she has, you know, enough, I, I watch. So if there's eggs that are starting to stick out from underneath her, they're like, okay, no more. And so I'll separate uh, the hens to where they can't lay any more eggs, but that's, so she'll end up raising all the other chickens' babies. Uh, they all like to lay together. I don't know why. That's just what they do. Uh, so you know. So there's there's that. Be aware of that because, um, like I said, they'll just keep laying on top of that same hen. Uh, one hen seems to be dominant or whatever, and will lay an egg. And so all the ladies will lay the egg in the exact same spot. It's, it's kind of funny, but uh, so it makes it easier to find them too. But generally every day I'll go and I'll have eggs all in the same spot that you're not, it's not an Easter egg hunt where, you know, some eggs are over here and over there. Um, but I mean, that does happen as, as, as well, but generally they all lay, you know, in the same spot. I guess they, they take a vote and everyone's laying the egg in the same spot that day. I guess they vote on where they're going to do it and then they start laying them, but that's just, that's just how they work. Uh, you really don't have to feed them, uh, unless it's winter time and there's not really a lot for them to eat. But during the summertime, there's plenty of bugs and grass and other stuff that, you know, they'll eat the seeds and stuff off the tops of the, of the grass, but they're really simple guys. It, they're not expensive. I do in the winter time supplement their feed. I'll, you know, get, you know, like a drinking cup. It's probably equivalent to maybe two cups. And every day, you know, I'll feed them that during the winter time. Uh, but I don't, you know, always do it. But for the most part, guys, they're self-sufficient. They're inexpensive. The eggs are great. Um, so if you have half an acre, acre, uh, more, I, I recommend chickens. I know a lot of people, you know, don't like them because they will, they are bad about uh, coming to the house and they'll poop on the porch and stuff like that. Uh, you just have to, what I've, like you can feed them table scraps, but I made the mistake, you know, with the first ones that I owned, uh, I would feed them around the house just out of laziness. So they got used to being around the house. So they were constantly, you know, crapping on everything. So my advice to you is if you're gonna feed them table scraps, do it over by their, you know, away from the house, do it, you know, by their coop or whatever. Uh, that way they don't start associating the house with food. Otherwise, you're just going to be stepping in it and it's it's going to be annoying. So I think that's all about chickens. I'm sure I'll come up with some other stuff. But for the most part, um, that's the basics of you know raising chickens. If y'all have any questions, comment below and I will definitely try and answer any questions y'all have.